have brought some chocolate milk down to the store with me today because I left my apartment pretty early after I woke up. So I'm now just going to sit down, have a look at what I need to go through today. I also need to pack orders because tomorrow is a bank holiday day, like everything will be closed tomorrow. So yeah, let's just plan what we need to get done. I think at first that would be good. These are now back in stock. I just restocked the big ones yesterday or the day before yesterday, but now these are also back in stock. I just don't have a lot of them, so I hope they're still gonna be in stock when you see this video. But I hung some up here, and I think it looks really cute. I have decided to begin the day by editing a new vlog. I always seem to think, oh, I haven't vlogged a lot. I wonder how long this vlog is gonna be. I have content for 31 minutes that I'm gonna edit now and then we'll see how long the video is gonna be when I'm done. There'll probably be some things that I decide to cut out. Um, so yeah, we'll see. 31 minutes, probably gonna take me an hour or so. Mom and I have bought some paint and some stuff and she is now working on the um, storefront to just like what's that noise <laughs> to get it ready to get painted and we have bought this tester because we actually picked a color that's a lot darker than i expected so this is gonna be a test i can't wait to see what it looks like but while she's working on the storefront i'm going to pack orders before the bank holiday tomorrow is she vacuum cleaning Yeah. Er det lidt numset, eller? Det er sjovt, det lyser, end jeg havde tænkt. Ja, det er det også her. Jeg synes ikke, det var det samme med alt. My new video managed to be live for 25 whole minutes and the video is I think 20 minutes long before I got a comment of, from somebody analyzing to some weird extent, ex instant, extent where the conclusion were that I am facing a depression. The video have been live for 25 minutes and there were already like several people who had liked that comment and it was already starting to become a thing analyzing that out of my video. So I have now um, deactivated the comment section because I am really really tired of sharing some personal information and feeling like I get analyzed to an extent where it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Everything that I'm feeling these days has something to do with this company that is tricking me. I don't feel depressed or sad in any other way or in any other situation. And I don't think it makes sense to try and analyze on one minute of information pretty much and trying to turn yourself into a psychiatrist or a doctor. So I have deactivated the comment section and I really felt uncomfortable with that and I really feel like this happens a little bit too often here on my channel that I share some very sensitive information about how I'm feeling in a certain situation and then it's just it goes from being a small problem like a mouse to an elephant like I was not feeling well and suddenly I have a depression yeah it's such a shame but I've been at home for a few hours. I had some 
lunch i've been watching an episode more of hollywood a very weird series that i started watching on netflix i don't really know what what i think about it but for some reason i just keep watching i've also just texted my mom if we should go back to the storefront and see the paint after it has dried a little bit because it was very difficult for us to actually make a decision about what we thought about the color and if we like it we want to get some more paint before they close today because tomorrow is going to be bank holiday so everything is going to be closed and we would like to paint or finish the paint job tomorrow so i will just see if she is gonna get back to me and i'm so sorry to all of you who did not analyze on the last video and i'm so sorry it's often just like a few people who will ruin it for everyone but i feel like i just have to mention this again that if you're watching a youtube or online and they give you some kind of information about how they're feeling just stick to what they tell you and support them and you don't have to try and analyze more into it or tell them what you think is wrong with them because the information that you get is most certainly it's not the whole story and it is like in one specific situation and not a picture of the full circumstances so it's so difficult for me to talk about all these things in english because it's not my first language but i just try to just accept the story that you get and be supportive instead of thinking that it's a big help analyzing something that you don't know enough about that's just um, what I what I want to say because it is really really hard always to get analyzed from so many different people, um, and to be told that you have a depression when you are just anxious about a company who has been fooling you since January and it's now May, yeah. So we are gonna move on, but the comment section has been closed. Which also means that I'm not getting all of the lovely comments from very supportive and lovely uh, subscribers. Which is a shame, but you can leave all of your love on this video instead. <laughs> I love her so much that I'm just filming her. She is so cute. She's just chilling over there. <laughs> I love you, boo. We are just quickly heading back to have a look at the storefront. I want to wear these. Let's go. We are going to go with it. So I just need to get the paint. Just so that we're 100% certain that we're going to get the same color again. <laughs> but yeah, it looks a lot better now when it's dry. It's a little bit darker than when we first put it on. Um, where we were unsure if it was going to be too light and i love the light in here in the afternoon it's so beautiful look we have light coming in and also i am going to return this one it's just too big and also you can't close these so it's not gonna like walk, roll around which doesn't work when it's gonna be on the street so i'm gonna return that i need some pictures of this dress these new cute earrings this beautiful dress and these earrings and then I think I'm going to use this hat for this outfit. Luna is still hanging out in her corner. <laughs> okay, even though this is a size small medium, this is way too big on me. I think for this one I'm going to need another model to wear it. Somebody who's a little bit bigger than me because it just doesn't, doesn't look right. It's just, um, as you can see, it's way too big up here. And way too big around my waist um so this is not gonna work i'm gonna try on the other one and it's such a shame because it's a beautiful dress but as you can see it's just too big for me because it's not really fitting well where it's supposed to so i need another model i made it out and i've been taking some nice pictures of this lovely dress so that hopefully i can list it tomorrow it's really really gorgeous and I made it right before the sun is gonna go down behind the trees. So that was really like, that was good. I cannot fit into the, the pink dress, it's not gonna work for me. So I really need another model 
need to see if I can find one that is a little bit bigger than me, maybe also a little bit taller. So, yeah, that was good. It was a really beautiful walk by the ocean and on the way back home we went by a garden center and I got this beautiful plant. It has another one coming here and one here as well. So I'm really hoping it's gonna live a lovely life in my window. And then I got a basil. It just looked so good. They smell amazing and Luna is gonna love me for it. But mom and I, even though it's like 4 p.m., it's more than that. My mom and I, we're now gonna go down and get the storefront painted. So we're gonna spend a few hours doing that. And I will, of course, like to vlog it. So let's go. It is now Saturday and I'm back at Project Storefront and it looks so so good like I'm really really happy with how it looks and today is gonna be I'm just gonna show you so we painted all of this yesterday to this cream color it's really beautiful we also painted these then today we're gonna paint these rails they're gonna get black and we're also gonna paint the door black so that it's gonna match the window frames that are now black. Um, so in that way it's all gonna match, but it looks really, really good. So I'll just grab myself some chocolate milk and wait for my mom to come. I don't think I'm gonna get started on anything without her. I actually just like got out of the bed and got down here. So I look a little bit rough, <laughs> but whatever, we're just gonna work, so. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the rails. It's such a shame that the one that I bought, this one, is silver. And also it's very white and pretty big. I'm going to see how it looks um, on the storefront. But then I'm going to have to figure out a way to cover all of this with something else. So that it's going to look better for the building and also just like for the vibe down here. Because all of the rails down here, they're either white or then I have one that's gold. So silver doesn't work. This one I'm gonna use in the back room. It's just from um, Ikea. It's my sister's old rail that I thought would be nice to use. And then I also got all of her old hangers, like wooden ones. And I thought they would be perfect for the street because we have like black windows and black door. So we just, I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the rail situation. And also these can't lock. So it can just move around on the street, which is not, like it's not thought through. I think it's so weird to make a rail that you can't lock. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> I have been editing this vlog throughout the day. I wanted to end it, so I hope that you enjoyed it. I love the new look of the storefront. I'm going to show you more of how it looks in the next vlog that I'm already working on. I've been vlogging throughout the day. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you did. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you all soon. Bye, guys.